Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today. I am gonna show you guys how I like to apply my Irresistible Me hair extensions. And this video was actually highly requested. As you guys can see, I have short hair still. And so a lot of people are still wondering how do you blend them in properly? I will admit if I keep them straight, my hair doesn't blend as well into the hair extensions because you know, it's just, <laughs> It's still short, but it's growing. So I did find a way that actually works for me with the lower part. And then I like to kind of like wave my hair a little bit and it blended really, really well. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the hair extensions. I wanna show them to you. And then I am going to get into what it is that I do to blend them in and make it work for me. This came with so much hair, guys. Like it's, it's, it's a lot of hair. So when you open it up, you are going to get a package like this. And it is completely sealed. You can probably still see some of the seal right here. So what happens is it says on this side, you should open this side first. This is your opportunity to see what the shade looks like, whether or not it's going to match to your hair before you actually open this up completely. If it doesn't match, you can always replace them for a different set. But once you open this up, it's a done deal. So you always want to check this side first. Then on this side is where the hair extensions came in and I'll show you, hold on. These here are my hair extensions and they feel so soft and just full. Look at this hair, just like. <sighs> now these hair extensions are very different than anything I've owned in the past. I'm gonna grab one weft just so that I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, do you guys spot the difference? I was so impressed when I saw these hair extensions. So these are the Irresistible Me, the true blend hair extensions. These are much easier to blend than classic hair extensions because they are sewn in on the thin silicone base. This is a silicone base, guys. They are so comfortable, I can't stop saying it. Like, I don't feel like it's weighing on my hair or anything like that. So this is going to be ideal for people who have a fine hair like me because a silicone base is 50% thinner than classic seam extensions and there will be no bulkiness at the root. So my hair is extremely thin and I know it doesn't look like it because I have some volume I just washed and dried my hair, but guys, my hair gets so flat and it is extremely thin. So the other hair extensions, although I love hair extensions, they are bulkier at the seam. So you can definitely kind of see them and feel them when my hair is picked up. Even when my hair is down, you can kind of really see them and the back on the sides. But with these, these just completely camouflage with my hair. I want to show you the four clip weft. This one here has only one layer of hair compared to the thicker fabric base that has four. So the fabric ones are so much thicker at the top and like, look how flat this is guys. Like they get concealed in your hair really well. Now let's say the Royal Remy and the Silky Touch extensions. These are going to have the same amount of hair, except that the hair is being distributed amongst more wefts. So you can either apply all wefts or keep some of them out, but it's not gonna add all the weight in the same area. So the weight is being distributed amongst several wefts, which makes it much more comfortable on your like scalp. I usually get like headaches a few hours in with hair extensions, but I haven't had that with these. So I wanna grab the accessories that I need and we're gonna dive on in and I'm gonna show you guys how I go from like short hair to like really long luscious hair. By the way, these were 24 inches long. They were way too long for me, so I had them kind of cut to where it's gonna work for me. Okay, okay. Step number one, you want to grab a brush. This is a Foxy Bay brush, and you wanna kindly, kindly comb out any tangles there may be in the hair. It is real hair, okay guys? So it does tangle just like the hair on your head. So you wanna make sure you're starting off with hair that has no tangles and that is like in perfect shape to where you know, it's gonna be easier for you to blend in with your hair, okay? Okay. Then you're gonna work on the hair that's on your head. 
For what I like to do, you're going to need a some sort of clip to put your hair up. If you have butterfly clamps, that is wonderful. If you don't, use like a scrunchie or something that's gonna hold your hair up really nicely. Then you're also going to need either, you don't need the teasing part, so like a rat tail comb would be fine, but you need something like this because this is gonna help you kind of create your parts and all that. Then for what I do to blend in at least the lower portion of my hair, you're going to need some bobby pins. The ones from a dollar store work wonderfully because guys, I probably have to buy a pack every single month because I think I eat them. I think I literally go to sleep with bobby pins in my hair and then I eat them because I just can't seem to find them at the end of the month. I just like take them off and put them somewhere and then all of a sudden I can't find that one. And then you're going to need, please don't judge the packaging because it's all busted, but you're gonna need some little rubber bands. I like the plasticky type of rubber bands because rubber bands will damage my hair like the rubber rubber ones. So these are like the little plastic type ones. What I am gonna do is I am gonna part my hair really quickly and that's really all you're gonna need by the way. And then your hair, obviously. So I am going to part my hair. And then I grab the butterfly clamp and wherever I feel the hair needs to be lifted, it's lifted. See how it's like as lifted as can be. And then I'm gonna take down the middle and I'm gonna part. And I'm gonna do two little braids. Now this is where those little rubber bands are gonna come into play. We're going to secure the ends of our little braids. This looks so weird, I know. <laughs> like the smallest braid ever and the thinnest too. This is what we're gonna use to secure our little braid. Now let's grab a few bobby pins. I think I'm gonna need about four, five, six. I'm gonna take eight just in case. And now what you wanna do is you wanna take your braids and you want to wrap them up. And to secure them, you're just going to use those bobby pins. All right, now I know it looks a little crazy, but it's the best way to secure your extensions with the bottom layer of your hair. I'm gonna explain why. There were so many times that my hair was a little shorter than what it is now. This just looks like cuckoo, but you know. Okay, so when my hair is, you know, all the way down and I just go in and I clip in my hair extensions, it is hard to blend that bottom portion that's like by the nape of your neck into the hair extensions. So when they come to the front, those little bits just come out and they just poke out and they're like saying hello. You know, when it comes to the rest of your hair, you can definitely blend it in by curling and waving it up, but for whatever reason, the shorter pieces, which are up in this area, like the portion that we put up, always kind of come unraveled from your hair extensions. So I like to pin those up, no one sees it, so it's not a big deal, and you know, you're concealing it. So now we're gonna go in and add our first layer of clip-ins, which is going to be a two-clip section. From now on, this is the easiest part, so you're going to grab a two-piece section, this is what they look like. You're gonna open up the clip, and you're just gonna literally just go like this, and clip it into your hair. That's section number one. And you see, like it looks like it's coming out the back of my head. There's no baby pieces like poking through, which generally would happen and it is so annoying. Now let's move on and we're going to section off again. So I am going to go in not that much further up from the clip-in. Can you see the clip? It's right there. So I am gonna go around here and the lines are not gonna be perfect, guys. This is the back of my head. I can't really see what's going on back there. Okay, so we released a little bit of hair. Now I'm gonna go in with a three clip weft. I always like to clip the middle one first and then guide the other two. So far, so good. Can you guys see there's a little bit of like my hair poking through, but it's not as noticeable as it would have been had it been like from the nape of my neck. When it comes to like the edges of my hair, like this area here, I tend to completely avoid clipping any hair extensions and I kind of like 
start to clip them from this area back a because I touch my hair a lot and I don't want it to be seen and B I just feel like it's super uncomfortable like even if I'm going like this it's just uncomfortable for me but I'm like picky that way so I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna fast forward through the whole process until we get to like this area so I can show you exactly where it is that I clip in the two side ones All right, so I have two wefts here, one for either side. I feel weird showing you guys like realities, realities. So what I like to do is I grab my rat tail comb and I go this far in like, so like right where my eyebrow would kind of end, I go in and I use my little, you know, butterfly clip to hold this hair back so that I can see, see my lines are never, even it kind of is what it is but i can see where it is that i am going to clip this baby and do you guys see all my little like baby hairs that's why i don't like to clip anywhere closer to this area because you guys will be able to see it so i am just gonna open my clips up and for the side i generally will clip around this area here and then i like to lift back here whatever hair is there and then clip right under it and then take that hair and pull it over and that conceals again my hair is extremely thin so by lifting whatever hair is here and clipping right under it and then putting this right over it girl you're concealing that whole clip you'll never know it's there so this is the clip and here like do you see the clip no you don't no you don't and then once you are done with that side you can just pull your hair over and don't nobody know that you got fake hair on. Well, not yet. We'll have to blend this piece in. Feel free to lightly comb through the hair because now that baby is attached to your head and it's all yours. I sometimes do part my hair down the middle. I feel like I'm going to do that today. And sometimes I kind of do like a side one, but we're going to part down the middle. I know there's people that think that middle parts are not all that flattering. I'm not one of those people. I actually like a middle part. And now we're going to get in to the nitty gritty, which is really blending it in. Because right now it looks blended in, but guys in real life, like you can see these poking through. So here I have the Foxy Bay Flat Iron. I set it to 330 degrees. And I know it's a lot, but guess what? You're not gonna sit here and like keep it on your hair for a really long time. You really don't wanna do that to your hair extensions and you don't wanna do that to your very own hair. So all you're going to do is where the ends of your hair is, just twist and turn and curl a little bit. See how this one here is like already wavy and I don't do it to my entire head. I just do it to the outer pieces of the hair. I like to grab my hair with the extensions and blend them together, curl at the same time. I don't curl all the way to the ends because I don't want to ruin the hair extensions. But you see how it like blends in, you can't even tell. And you're going to do that to the entire, see? So I have my hair and then I have a chunk of the hair extensions. I'm going to grab those, put my flat iron into it, twist, and then just gradually pull. You're not leaving all the heat on top of it. You're just kind of warming the baby up. Okay, so I am going to move forward and do this to the rest of my hair, and I'll be right back. And there you have it. That is how I like to blend in my hair with the hair extensions. As you guys can see, it's looking really, really good. You can't tell where my like short hair is compared to where the extensions are. So that is really it. That is kind of like what I do. If you're curious about these hair extensions and you're looking to check them out, make sure you click the link in the description box. Also, if you're gonna dive in and purchase a beautiful set of your own, they have different sizes and different colors, guys. I totally suggest you go check them out. But if you wanna get a set of your own and you want to save some money then make sure you use the code get 20 off to save 20% off your first order now yes you will get 20% off which is a huge discount when it comes to hair extensions I've seen 5% 10% worst case 15% 
they're giving you 20% off with the code get 20 off. And that is a wrap up for this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope that if you have short hair or you know of someone that has short hair, that this is going to be helpful to them on how to blend their hair. And maybe that little tip of like that bottom piece has been helpful to you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.